Hello, men's, fems, thems, and toasters. It is Ultimate here. A very tired Ultimate who no longer feels like researching dragon children. But I'm here, I'm queer, and I made too many polls. In the new poll I made, this video was the leading result for what to make next, and when the community speaks, I must provide. Such is the burden of a low-level YouTuber in his prime. Anyhow, this is your obligatory reminder that this video will have some spoilers for all the way up to book 15 of Wings of Fire. I do not like the dragonettes in Wings of Fire. In case you couldn't tell by my probably very dramatic thumbnail, my main complaint is mostly that pretty much all of the main ones act exactly the same, and character copy-pasting, as this insightful commenter has pointed out, is getting extremely boring. I should probably specify that although technically dragons are considered dragonettes until the age of six or seven years old, when I say dragonettes in this particular video, I really just mean the very young kids like Cliff or Auklet. I should probably also specify the copy-pasted personality itself before we move forward. Pretty much all the dragonettes show the same traits of being silly, obnoxious, and generally infantile. When researching this video, the first thing that I considered was maybe that's just how dragonettes in Wings of Fire are. That maybe all of them act stupid and silly and obnoxious until they grow personality later on. However, this is not shown to be true. We can use Moonwatcher as an example for this because we actually see her as a dragonette all the way up to the first four years of her life. She learns to speak within a few hours of being hatched, which is apparently not that weird for a dragon's growth rate, but it doesn't seem at all like the happy-go-lucky, excitable dragonette personality that we're used to. She just seems scared and curious, and that extends into her personality as she actually grows up. So that's one example that might disprove that theory, but of course the circumstances for Moon's hatching are very different. She hatched mostly alone in the rainforest with only snippets of time with her mother, which is nowhere close to the relationship that other dragonettes have. So is there another example we can use, one that still has an isolated environment, but was born with the annoying personality? I'm glad you asked me. This is actually Mink to a T. With her mother dead after Darkstalker's silly little tantrum, she is now two years old and also has the benefit of being crushed under the weight of traditional Icewing family values. And she's still a happy, annoying little shit. I could find more examples, but in the interest of time, I think you get the idea. It seems like the situation in which one is hatched doesn't really have much of an effect on the personality in this series. So whether or not they're annoyingly cutesy and happy all the time is based on the writing or plot and not their circumstances. And the part about growing a personality later on also doesn't seem to be true, at least from the few dragons we've actually gotten to see grow up. All of the Dragonettes of Destiny, for one, had distinct personalities that didn't seem to change much when they got older. It looked like the important characters got lucky with it, and all of the background ones just got a smiley face sticker and a pat on the back. So this is a writing issue, but why exactly is it an issue? Look, I'm not saying that the dragonettes ruin the series. Far from it. Cliff and Auklet in particular are very useful to the plot, and I think they're cute. But past that, I feel like every other kid in the series has the exact same traits and way of speaking. I think Bumblebee is the exception to this because she actually has some traits besides being obnoxious, like liking mangoes, <laughs> which admittedly isn't much, but it's still better than what a lot of the other ones have. And when I asked some of my fellow fan wings, they had a similar sentiment. I'm not a fan of kids in real life, but pretty much every kid I've met had a personality besides being loud and cheerful. And this is where we get into the favoritism that I've kind of wanted to talk about for a while. The main characters get cool personalities and quirky traits, while the background characters get basically nothing. And the dragonettes are no different. Kids are way smarter than most people give them credit for, and a lot of them have no filter, especially really young kids. They'll say horribly blunt things and just stare at you smugly, and I wish we could have gotten that in the series. I'm imagining a dragonette who walks up to Darkstalker and just tells him that he's being a meanie head and to fuck off. It's at least way more interesting than what we've got now. And just in case people are going to come at me for the happy personality thing, I'm not that cynical. I don't think being an optimistic or cheerful person is a bad thing at all. I just think it got really old after we met Cliff and Auklet, and I just find it annoying at this point because it appears so much in the series. When it comes to options for what you can do with the Dragonettes, there's a lot here to work with. And although I'm one of those people who actually really enjoys the characterization of the series as one of its better qualities, it just makes failures in that department even more obvious. There are so many things we could have gone with here, so much potential for silly shenanigans and stupid things in the background, and instead we have Auklet clones as far as the eye can see. There are some exceptions to this. Some people mentioned liking dragonettes like Dusky, Freedom, or Bumblebee when I asked my Discord server about it, but for the most part, this is how I see it. 
I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video and want more Wings of Fire content, click the magical end card, which will be appearing in a short while. If you'd like to help make videos like this one, see behind the scenes content, and watch videos or see silly thumbnails days ahead of time, join the Discord server, the link for which is in the description. Ultimate out! Shout out to Dusky, who shares a name with one of the characters now, and will forever be doing double takes whenever Zer name appears in the Wings of Fire Discord chat.